Hello students, in this video we will solve a specimen paper 4, its physics, Cambridge IGCSE, paper code 0625. This figure shows a speed time graph for a vehicle accelerating from rest. Calculate the acceleration of the vehicle at time t is equal to 30 seconds. So we have to draw a tangent at that given time. And we have to calculate the gradient here. So we can See that let's say V stands for speed. So delta represents change in speed. Delta V is here, here. If we have taken this gradient and V change in speed will be 17 minus 11. This value is 17 and this is 11 here on the speed axis. So delta V is 6 meter per second and delta T change in time is 36 minus 20. It is 16. So acceleration is rate or change of speed. Delta V by delta T. It is 6 by 16.375 or approximate value 0.38 meter per second square. Without further calculation, state how the acceleration at time t is equal to 100 seconds compares to the acceleration at time t is equal to 10 seconds. Well, we can see that the graph is more steeper at t is equal to 10 seconds as compared to when time is 100 seconds. And when the graph is more steeper, it represents the larger value of acceleration is speed time graph. So acceleration is decreasing less acceleration at t is equal to 100 seconds when compared with acceleration at t is equal to 10 seconds. Well, using our ideas about forces explain why any change in the acceleration has occurred. Now you can understand that if the car is moving toward left, the thrust force or let's say the driving force acting toward left, so the drag force will oppose and it will act against the direction of motion. It will act toward right. So what happens? What is the reason for this reduced acceleration? That less driving force could be a reason or the greater drag force or air resistance and resultant force is the difference of these two forces. Driving force or thrust minus the drag force. So if less driving force and greater resistive force, it results a less resultant force. So this could be a reason why the change in acceleration has occurred. Determine the distance traveled by the vehicle between time t is equal to 120 seconds and time t is equal to 160 seconds. So we have to calculate the area under this graph here for time t 120 to 160. So we can calculate, we can break this whole area in rectangle and triangle. And the one side is 40, another side is 20. For the triangle, the base is 40 and height is 20. Use the formula, multiplication of two sides for rectangle to calculate area. And for triangle, it is half multiplied by base, multiplied by height. So we have calculated here. Pause the video. You can check all the calculation. Area is 1000 meter. Complete the definitions by giving the name of each quantity. Mass. Multiply by acceleration is force. Force multiplied by time is impulse. This figure shows a man using a golf club to hit a ball. The ball has a mass. Mass is given. The golf club is in contact with the ball for a duration of 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 seconds. And the ball leaves the golf club at a speed of 65 meter per second. Calculate the momentum of the ball. We know that momentum is mass multiplied by speed. Both values have been given. We have mass, we have speed. We will multiply to get the momentum. So momentum is approximately 3 kg meter per second. Calculate the average resultant force acting on the ball while it is in contact with the golf club. We know that force is equal to momentum divided by time. Rate of change of momentum is force. So force is we have everything momentum we have and time. We have, so we can calculate force. Force is 6,000 Newton. While the golf club is in contact with the ball, the ball becomes compressed and changes shape. State the type of energy stored in the ball during its contact with the golf club. So elastic energy is energy stored in an object due to a force that temporarily changes its shape, such as squashing or stretching. So elastic energy is the stored energy in the ball. This figure shows solar cells that use radiation from the sun to generate electrical power. State the name of the process which releases energy in the sun. So nuclear fusion is a process that powers the sun and other stars and creates huge amount of energy. 
the process is nuclear fusion describe what happens in this process so what is nuclear fusion you have to describe nuclear fusion is when two or more atomic nuclei fuse to form a single heavier nucleus the process releases energy because the total mass of the resulting single nucleus is less than the mass of the two original nuclei. Apart from solar cells, there are other energy resources used on Earth for which the radiation from the sun is the main source. State the name of one of these sources, energy resources, and explain whether it is renewable. So name of energy resources, you can write biomass and explanation, biomass is renewable organic material that comes from plants and animals. State two advantages and two disadvantages of using solar cells to generate electrical power. So advantage one, we can write no emission of greenhouse gases and advantage two, reduce dependence on fossil fuels for disadvantage we can write high cost of solar panels and another disadvantage is sunlight dependent this figure shows a balloon filled with helium that is used to lift measuring instruments to a great height above the earth's surface using ideas about momentum Explain how the atoms of helium produces a force on the wall of the balloon. So the gas pressure of a helium balloon arises from the impact of the collision of the helium atoms between themselves and with the inside surface of the balloon. So the helium atoms undergo changes of momentum and the force on the wall of the balloon is produced which is equal to because we know that force is equal to rate of change of momentum. So the force is produced which is equal to the rate of change of momentum of atoms. At ground level, the pressure of the helium in the balloon is given. The volume of the helium is given. The balloon is released and it rises quickly through the atmosphere. The, vo the volume of the helium increases the temperature of the helium remains constant. So it is given the temperature is constant and volume increases. Explain why the pressure in the balloon decreases as the balloon rises. You should refer to helium atoms in your answer. So the volume of the helium increases. So it means the density of the gas becomes low. It means number of atoms per unit volume decreases and the collision of atoms with themselves and with the walls of balloon also decreases. Hence, the pressure in the balloon decreases. Calculate the pressure of the helium when its volume is 12 meter cube. We will use this formula P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. P2 is equal to P1 V1 divided by V2. P1 is given. It is 1 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal. V1 is 9.6 and V2 is 12. Put all the value in the formula. Calculate P2. It is 8 into 10 to the power 4 Pascal. Compare the arrangement and motion of the particle in ice and in liquid water. Arrangement. In ice, particles are tightly packed, arranged in a regular pattern. In liquid, water particles are close together with no regular arrangement. Motion. The particles in ice vibrate about fixed positions and in liquid, water particles move around or slide over each other. A lake has a layer of ice on its surface. The area of the lake is given. The ice has a thickness of 0 0.025 meter. The density of ice is given. Calculate the mass of ice on the lake. So volume of ice is equal to area multiplied by thickness. Since a layer has a, a lake has a layer of ice. So the area of lake means the area of ice. So in order to get the volume of ice, multiply by multiply this area by the thickness of the ice. The so volume of ice is 45 meter cube and we know that density is mass divided by volume. We can rearrange and we can calculate mass. Mass is equal to density multiplied by volume. So it is approximately 41,000 kilogram. A 
at night the temperature of the ice on the lake falls by 3.5 degree centigrade so the change in temperature is 3.5 degree centigrade the specific heat capacity of ice is given calculate the change in energy so we know that change in energy is we can use this formula cm delta theta where c is the specific heat m is the mass and delta theta is change in temperature we have c we have change in temperature and we have mass here put all the values in the formula and calculate e delta e change in temperature it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 joule This figure shows a converging lens and its principal axis. The points F1 and F2 are each a principal focus of the lens. An object O is placed between F1 and the lenses. On figure 6.1, draw two rays from the top of the object to locate the image, label the image I. We have drawn the image here. This is a virtual image. So you can write that the image formed in this case is a virtual image which is formed on the same side of the lens behind the object. Also the image formed is erect means upright and highly enlarged. The object O is moved to the left along the principal axis so that it is further from the lens than F1. It's this figure shows a new arrangement. Underline three of the terms below that describe the image shown in the figure. So this is the image and we can see that it is enlarged as compared to the object and inverted and it is a real image. So we have to circle these three qualities of image. This figure shows yellow light passing through a glass prism. Blue light enters the prism along the same path as the yellow light. We have shown the blue right here by the blue line. And on this figure, draw the path of the blue light as it enters, passes through and leaves the prism. Here you should try to understand the concept that when a beam of white light passes through a prism, White light is splits into seven colors. It deviates, it bends and splits into seven colors. So the color which has the minimum wavelength will bend the most when passes through glass prism. So here we can see that maximum deviation in the violet color as the violet color uh, color's wavelength is minimum. And for red color, red color shows the least deviation because it has the maximum wavelength. So, when yellow and blue color light is passed through the prism, the blue color light will bend the most as its wavelength is less in comparison to yellow color's wavelength. The blue light bend most and emergent blue ray will diverge away from the yellow ray. This is the answer. You can write. So we will stop this video here. For next questions from question 7 to 12, we will upload a video very soon. Like, share and subscribe. And write your feedback also because your feedback gives us an idea and also motivate us to upload more videos or to do more work for you. Thank you very much once again.